Hello, everybody. The sun's shining. I'm sitting in the parking lot at Target. I took my friend Sandy, who can't walk, put her in an electric shopping cart, and let her go at it. I'm out in the parking lot with my... I bought an expensive cup of coffee here. Uh, what's it called? Oh, Starbucks coffee. And I bought some cheap donuts with no sugar. Revelation 22nd, the last chapter of Revelation. I want to read this one to you as the helicopter flies over. The river and the tree of life is what this chapter is titled in a New American Standard Bible. Then he showed me a river and I added moving. Rivers usually flow or move. They don't set stagnant. Moving river of water of life. Book of life, water of life, tree of life, eternal life, spirit of life. All right? It's about life, 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 life. Water of life, clear as crystal, coming from the throne of God. There's Old Testament about water coming out from the throne in the corner of the threshold and running by the south side of the altar to the southwest corner and out through the wall and becomes deeper from ankle deep to thigh deep to waist deep to the point you can't walk across it and you can swim in it about the moving water could be the Gihon Spring. You don't you don't know. Could be totally spiritual. Ah, uh, throne of God and of the Lamb in the middle of its street. On either side of the moving river water of life was the tree of life, bearing twelve kinds of fruit, twelve tribes of Israel, twelve apostles, plus two. What was it? I don't know about his name for sure. Mathis was a replacement for Judas. That makes him the 13th apostle. And Paul chosen face to face. And that comes up here later. The Lord chose all his original 12 plus 1 face to face. He did not choose Mathis face to face. He got chosen with the long and the short stick. All right, that was Peter in a hurry. Bearing 12 kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations, plural. There will be no longer any curse. No more curse. All right. No longer any curse. And the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it. And his bond servants will serve him. I'm a servant teacher. Did you get that one? Servant teacher. They will see his face. And his name will be on their foreheads. And back to face. Chosen face to face. We will see him face to face. Uh, 12, 22, 5 of Revelation. And there will be no longer be any night. And they will not have need of light of a lamp, nor the light of the sun. Because the Lord God, the same Lord God that's in Genesis 2-4, the first time those two words came together in the Bible. Genesis 2-4, Lord God. It's God in the first event of creation and it's Lord God in the second event, uh, making a true witness. Creation re-explained all over again a second time. Lord God will illuminate them, shine on them, make them shine, and they will reign forever and ever. Forever and ever has two V's, true witness. The third letter of the sacred name, V vi Vover Vet. Always V by Vover Vet. That is the higher understanding of the sacred name Yavah. There is no W figure in Hebrew nor J figure 
in the 22 letters of Old Hebrew. That's why the Lord Jesus' name in Hebrew is Yahshua or Yahushua. And it, the sacred name of God is v, Vivavavavet Yava. And the, this is the key, a golden nugget. Are you ready for a golden nugget? If you're going to debate Yahweh or Yava, let's throw it out. But don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. That's non-scripture. The baby is, the short form name of God is YH. We add a vowel, A, for Yah. Hallelujah. Hallowed el -U Yah. The short form name of the Father is Yah. The short form name of the Son is Yah. The Father and the Son are the one and the same thing. Yah is the short form name of both the Father and the Son because they are one. Hope you got that one. Love you. Bye.